Hello students, in today's class we will be talking about nanomaterials. What exactly is a nanomaterial? Over here we are talking about the size. Nano means small. So over here the internal bonding, the bond signs and the bond lengths will be very small. Materials with any external dimensions in nanoscale. Now nanoscale is a smaller scale. And that is size range approximately from 1 to 100 nanometers or having internal structure or surface structure in the nanoscale are known as nanomaterials. Nanomaterials are chemical substances or materials that are manufactured and used at a very small scale. Nanomaterials are developed to exhibit novel characteristics compared to small materials without nanoscale features such as increased strength chemical reactivity and conductivity. So here the nanomaterials do have increased strength, chemical reactivity and conductivity. And because of these properties of a nanomaterial, they have varied applications and varied amount of uses. Types of nanomaterials, nanomaterials can be considered as inorganic based, carbon based and organic based. Now what is the difference between them? Inorganic and organic. Generally organic comes from the term organic chemistry which contains two elements carbon and hydrogen. Now carbon and hydrogen together form hydrocarbons. Hydrogen plus carbon which will lead to hydrocarbons. So whenever we talk about hydrocarbons we are talking about organic. Only carbon base, when it will be only carbon, then it is classified into this and inorganic is everything else. The last type is the composite based nanomaterials, now which can be a proportion of these three. Generally, inorganic based nanomaterials include different metals and metal oxides. So, if you see over your metals and metal oxides, they do not contain carbon at all. So, metals can be anything, it can be ferrum, which is iron, Ag, that is argentum, and all of these are metals and the metal oxides. Let's see the applications. So first is polymers. Polymers, poly means many and mers comes from the word monomer. Okay, so mono means one. Poly means many. And so we remove this mono and we club mer with poly. So it becomes polymer. Now what do we mean by polymers? Many molecules combine together to form a polymer. Similar to the way in which carbon and silica nanoparticles have been used as fillers in rubber to improve the mechanical properties of tires, so it's used in tires. Such particles are other including nanoclays, you have nanoclay incorporated into polymers to improve the strength of impact and resistance. Nanomaterials generally have good strength and resistance and that is being used. It is used in food packaging. Nanomaterials have been increasingly incorporated into food packaging to control the ambient atmosphere around food. Now when we pack food, the only thing that should not happen is oxidation. Now oxidation is very important. And that is the reason why food also has many amounts of antioxidants. So when you have food over here, let's see you have food in a container. And then you have air around the food. The air contains oxygen. Now this oxygen will react with the food and start decomposing the food. This process is known as oxidation. And thus you need to cover the food properly with something and this can be made up of nanomaterials. Because nanomaterials will not itself react with the food and it will not also lead oxygen reacting with the food. Such composite use of non flakes of clay and clay like particles which slow down the increase of moisture and reduce gas transport across the packaging film. Flame -like retardness. Nanoparticles explore for their potential to replace additives based on flammable organic halogens and phosphorus. In plastics and textiles, studies had suggested that in the event of serious fire, Products with nanoclay and hydroxide particles were associated with fewer emissions and harmful fumes. So generally these nanoclays will instead of burning them off they will melt down and because of melting they will actually try to not increase the fire if at all they cannot stop it. Batteries and supercapacitors. 
the ability to engineer nano composite materials to have very high internal surface area for storing electrical charge so now this particular nano material can be used in making batteries and these batteries are made up of such materials wherein they will have a lot of electrical charge they have, will have a lot of space to actually fill in a lot of electrical charge and because of this these can turn into long lasting batteries nano ceramics a long term objective of material science had been to transform ceramics that are brittle prone to cracking and tougher ones the more resilient ones and in the 25th century we have that we have acrylic ceramics we have plates and bowls which look like the ceramic ones the porcelain ones but when you actually drop them they do not break at all because they are made up of nano materials light controls that is light emitting diodes leds which had the potential to produce white light at significant reduced cost this was inspired with the help of lighting so over here we saw what are nano materials we saw different kinds of nano materials and we also saw the varied varied uses of nano materials as well thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned to ekida and subscribe to ekida